All right, good morning. Good morning. Good morning from a very hot Houston, Texas. 733 Houston, folks. And it is hot already. But I found me a new spot. Tony Barnes, I found me a new spot to stay in Houston, man. It's complete with water. Man, it's incredible. It's incredible. So my name's Coach Michael Burt. I believe everybody needs a coach. I believe a good coach can change your life. I was telling people this yesterday, Tommy Davidson, had about 25 people in person of interest here in Houston. Neil, what's up, big guy? And I was telling this group of people that I was teaching person of interest to, man, the reason you need coaching in your life is because it gives you direction, gives you clarity, Daniel Hodges. I was using Daniel Hodges as an example uh, to a person last night that owns an elect electrical company, electrician, Jay Cash. A good coach is going to give you some direction and clarity and strategy. They're going to make you think. They're going to push you. They're going to expand you, Amanda Beaner. That's what a good coach does. And they're going to do what we're going to talk about today, which is, man, some point in life, I see so many people, Rob Stein, that just, man, they just can't, they just can't get it together, man. For whatever reason, for whatever excuse, for whatever life circumstance, and they're people that you see that have potential and you know they have potential and you but the man they're just living below the line they're living below the line of the potential and at some point in life you gotta say man i'm tired of living below the line so this is kind of what i'm talking about in the new book i'm gonna be talking about it tomorrow in nashville tennessee I actually got chapter three of that book it's not find your why it's called forget your why screw your why and you say man it's a little hard coach well what I'm really teaching here is that I don't think you wake up one day and find your purpose. I think your purpose finds you. And I think it finds you when you're exchanging your talent to solve a problem and you get feedback, uh, Brandon, and you get, and you get, and you, man, you start to get fulfillment. And fulfillment is like, man, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Yesterday I had so much fun with those people, small group, but they were so hungry and wanted to learn to be people of interest so much that there was this really cool exchange between what I was teaching and what they were learning and it gave me a sense of purpose so I finished the day yesterday I came out here and walked around this thing oh man this is a good day if I get to do this this is a good day but at some point Brian Covey you got people man it's just living below the line and it's like the reason you can't get to this next frequency the reason you can't get to this next level is because you just there's certain actions you just are not willing to take you're not willing to give up something to get something. It could be give up money to get in a room with somebody. It could be to give up time. Because I hear this so much, man. I'm so busy. I'm, 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 I'm underperforming, but I'm so busy. I'm not hitting my numbers, my goals in life, but I'm so busy. I'm not. Folks, you got to take a step back. And you got to say, what am I capable of doing? And who, right? That's the whole who, not how concept. Who can help me get there? And what am I willing to sacrifice to get there? Because I'm tired of living below the line as it relation, as it, in relationship, Kelly, to my own potential. So, right, Norma? So, I just see so many people. Man, I come across so many people in the world. I'm like, man, a person's living below the line. They got so much more talent, so much more potential, but they need coaching and guidance. Yeah, but I'm busy. Or, or I'm, I don't have the resources. Folks, sometimes you get to live out of your sacrifice before you live out of your surplus. That's a Tim storyline. You gotta go find the money to get in the room to get the information, right, James Nice? So if you're out there today and I'm talking to you, and you're like, man, coach is talking to me, I'm living below the line. I got so much more potential. I can get my get my acting gear, man. I need to go activate this drive, Pastor Ken. Okay, Pastor Ken can chime in here on what, man, the talent you've been given and activating that talent doing something with that talent and 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 moving right toward that talent scott that's what we're talking about so daniel Hodges said we shut down the excuse department we have man we've shut down the complaining department Derek fossa we've shut down the excuse department we've shut down the low motivation 
So we're building greatness factories. We're not building complacency factories. Right? We're building greatness factories, not complacency factories. So if I'm talking to you, I'm going to give you some opportunities to get in a room with me. As you see, I'm rolling out Monster Nation. Come on, folks. September 8th and 9th, Nashville, Tennessee. I'm going to be announcing some new speakers today. I want to see you in that room. I want to see you in that room with me. September 8th and 9th. I want to see you at the lodge with me, learning and growing. I want to see you in Florida with me, coming to a retreat. And if you're sick and tired and you're ready to shut down your excuse department, man, you'll do something about it. Or you'll just keep on keep on doing it. Keep on getting it, folks. That's what you will do. Right, Kyle Yates? So good morning from Houston, Texas. Got a beautiful spot here, guys. That's right. Coach Bird in person is a whole lot better than Coach Bird on YouTube. I can tell you that for sure. But, man, I just see so many people, and I just want to just reach in there and I want to say, come on, man. Can't come on. Let's let's do this. You can do this. Let's go. So you guys have a great day. Everybody needs a coach. I'll be in Nashville, Tennessee tomorrow for Acceler the Accelerate Generation Wealth Conference. It's me, Brad Lee, Albert Preciado, Rob Luna, Brian and Janet Truman. Incredible, guys. So I'll be flying back today. Look at that right there. Wake it up every morning. That right there would be nice. You guys have a great day. God bless you. Before I get started, there is one very important question I have to ask you. Coach Michael Burt, Monster Producer Academy CEO. He's a personal friend of mine. What good is it to have knowledge with no desire? What good is it to have desire with no skill? What good is it to have knowledge and skill with no confidence? A big part of activating your prey drive is finding and refining your talent. This is something that helps you get to the next place. People are made up of four parts, a body, a mind, a heart, and a spirit. You need to know you, and then you need to have an awareness, and sometimes you don't even know what you need. So all four parts of our nature have to be clicking. Your hard skill solves my problem. The bigger the problem, the more money people are paid to solve it. Everything is valuable to your future. What I'm really paying you for is your past. A monster producer combines multiple skills to dominate a market. When you get to wake up every day and do what you love doing, man, it is hard not to be motivated. They think at a higher ordinance than everybody else. They want to create new things. I have a conviction about me, and that's the conviction that you feel when I talk, when I speak. It comes across as passion. You got to learn how to connect to another person at such a deep level that it moves them. You have goals, you have targets, but you don't have a sense of urgency. They're going to exchange money, energy. They're going to raise capital. They're going to start new businesses. There's going to be joint ventures. I think your purpose finds you. It is activated. The word activate means to initiate. Discipline, which is a derivative of the word disciple, which means to give yourself to a person or cause you believe in. Do you believe in your future, yes or no? When we know better, we do better. Finding the problem that you are uniquely qualified to solve, and you don't know what problem you really solve for whom, then there is no big financial exchange right there. You should leave here thinking bigger today than when you came. And I want to shake your hand and look you in the eyeball when you make this decision. Thank you. We'll see you in the back. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.